Now, since the hype died down somewhat for the uh, GTA 6 trailer, I wanted to give my thoughts about characters I believe that are going to return in Grand Theft Auto 6. Or characters that actually just want to return. I have no real proof that these characters actually will return. This is all just speculations and me having fun. And as a disclaimer, no, I don't think Tommy Versetti is going to return to GTA 6. And the reason why? Because Rockstar has made it clear that all the, all the Grand Theft Auto games during the PS2 era and Grand Theft Auto 4, Grand Theft Auto 5, and Grand Theft Auto 6 are all separate universes. So Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, San Andreas, Vice City Stories, Liberty City Stories, that's all in one universe. That's the 3D universe. And the HD universe, that being Grand Theft Auto 4, Episodes in Liberty City, Chinatown Wars, Grand Theft Auto 5, and now Grand Theft Auto 6 are all in the HD universe. So characters from the 3D universe cannot cross into the HD universe, except for characters we've heard on the radio like Laszlo. So I have all that out of the way, let's go let's jump right into the video. Now first on my list of characters I believe is going to return to Grand Theft Auto 6 will have to be Elizabeth. Now Elizabeth was a character that you took missions from in Grand Theft Auto 4, and in Grand Theft Auto 4 she was arrested because she was selling and dealing drugs. It is highly speculated that Lucia does start out the game in prison, and then she gets out on parole. But what if she knows Elizabeth in prison? I know that she was arrested in Liberty City, but there are prison transfers, and it has been 15 years. Either Elizabeth is out of prison, which I don't think she's going to be out of prison for a long time, or she's giving the player missions from inside a prison. Let's say Jason or Lucia were to visit Elizabeth. When they visit her, they can take missions from her. Up next on my list, I think Little Jacob should return to GTA 6. Now, Little Jacob was a supporting character in Grand Theft Auto 4. He was a big time weed dealer, and yeah, I think it would be pretty cool and interesting to see if he would return to Grand Theft Auto 6. But he was loyal to Nico, so. If he does befriend Lucia or Jason, he for sure will be on their side no matter what. So that's one good thing about him. Up next on the list would have to be Roman. Now, I don't see Jason and Lucia like necessarily taking missions for Roman or interacting with Roman. I can see him like in a cutscene or, or something like that. Like for example, during the Battle of Gay Tony, Luis actually meets Roman and Brucey at the nightclub. They don't really say anything, you just see them there as like a cameo. And I think it'd be kind of interesting, kind of funny to see Roman, you know, just like vacationing down in Vice City. Up next on the list will have to be Mark Madrazo. Now, Mark Madrazo was a minor antagonist in Grand Theft Auto 5, and also his son Miguel Madrazo makes an appearance in Grand Theft Auto Online for the Kyle Pluto heist. And I think it'd be pretty cool if, if he was like an antagonist again, somewhat, or there's some sort of like reference to him at the very least, because again, GTA 5 and GTA 6 are both in the same universe. So, my guess is that you end up working for a cartel of some sort. And then you get in a shootout with the Madrazo cartel, or there's some sort of Easter egg or reference to Martin Madrazo. Like they'll say something along the lines of Martin Madrazo used to be big a decade ago, but now times change. It's something like that would be pretty cool to see, actually. Number one on my list would have to be Luis Lopez. Now, the reason why I chose Luis Lopez over Nico, I kind of like the idea of Nico is kind of retiring, living in that penthouse in Algonquin. You know, it's like chilling in Liberty City. I don't want him to, you know, get back into the life of crime, especially what happened at the end of the game with GTA 4 of Kate or Roman, depending on the ending. But I would say Luis had the happiest ending out of the Grand Theft Auto 4 trilogy, that being GTA 4, the Lost in the Damn Battle of Gay Tony. I'd say Luis had the happiest ending, for sure. Especially since Johnny Clebitz got killed by Trevor in GTA 5. It'd be kind of cool if we can like go to a nightclub in uh, GTA 6 and it's owned by Luis. Because we do know that he was a manager for the Masonette in Liberty City. Unfortunately, with the nightclub DLC, Tony actually doesn't make any references to Luis whatsoever. So it would do the character justice for sure if you can just go to his nightclub and then you sometimes see him, you know, in the manager office or you hear him or you just see him walking around. It's a little cutscene of him would do the justice too. And also he's a really underappreciated protagonist. A lot of people are warming up to Nico Bellic as a good protagonist to the GTA game. But I will say that Luis Lopez is for sure underappreciated, especially after recently replaying the Battle of Gay Tony. Now that's just my list of, of characters I think that should return to GTA 6. I don't work for Rockstar. I don't know for sure that any, any of these characters are going to be returning. It'd be cool if everybody on this list returns, but let me know down in the comment section below what characters you think should return to GTA 6. Now, if you guys did go on to agree with my list, let me know down in the comment section below. And if you guys did go on and enjoy this video, a like and a comment would be appreciated. Subscribe to the channel. And yeah, with all that out of the way, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.